It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Wet n Wild. Starting off at number 10 we have River Rapids and if you have need for speed then this ride is perfect for you. Once climbed to the top of a white water mountain, you can choose between three slides, two of which are enclosed and one open, and from this moment you shoot off on any of them. From the next minute onwards you will be racing through the tube at a speed of 40km an hour, really creating an exhilarating experience for the whole family. The question is though, which slide would you choose? If Racing on your own is not for you, but you would rather jump in a four person dinghy for a mammoth adventure, then our number nine spot, Mammoth Falls, is a must do. On this slide, there is no intense drops or moments that make you feel like it is for the thrill seekers out there, but instead some really fun turns which will make your dinghy start to spin faster and faster all the way down the 250 meter long slide. How fun does that sound? Who here is scared of the dark? Well, I sure am, and if you are, it's probably best to give this slide a miss. As at number 8, we have Black Hole. For starters, the name does not lie, as you will experience all of the classic twists and turns that you will commonly find on a water slide, but with a twist. It is pitch black. Do not worry though, as if you are scared of the dark, there is another slide next to it, which don't get me wrong, is dark but has some light in it so you can experience the same experience just without screaming your lungs out. For our number 7, on our top 10 list, we are going to be heading onto the belly of a snake with Constrictor. So far, this is the slowest water slide on our list at a speed of 30 km per hour. Therefore, if you haven't liked the speed of all the other rides, then this is more for you. Nevertheless, it still has a sting with you heading down a humongous tube consisting of a triple 360 degrees coils before the final drop into the water, really finishing off the ride with a splash. Now our number 6 spot doesn't sound or look too safe of a ride, but believe it or not, this is much more fun than it looks and it is definitely a must do at the park for the uniqueness. Welcome to Kamikaze, the slide which will push your thrill limit to the absolute limit. I think just looking at it, it is quite self explanatory. But in a nutshell, this two person U shaped slide will drop you 11 meters vertically before reaching the top of a 70 degree angle and then rocking back and forth until the end of the ride. Oh, yeah, did I forget to mention it also goes at 50 km an hour? So good luck, whoever wishes to ride Kamikaze. Top 5 were. were or should I say, whoa, as a tornado has just struck Wet n Wild, causing a ride experience like you would never expect. This is Tornado and is literally a giant funnel ride, so if you have been to another water park before, you have probably rode something like this. However, it does not mean it is not worthy of the number 5 spot by any means as from the second you drop like on kamikaze you will rock up and down before heading through a little surprise at the end making this a must do ride for many other families out there on your marks get set go and make sure to win the race as at number four we have super eight whack crowd races one of my favorite slides in the world and here is why Firstly, unlike your normal slide where you head down on your back, here you head down on your front which is pretty cool if you ask me. The reason why this slide is at number 4 though is because you can race your friends along the 8 slides and see who can make it to the finish line first. So for someone who is competitive like me, a trip to the park would not be complete 
without a ride on Super 8 Aqua Racers. Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park and for the number 3 position we have the best water slide in the park Aqua Loop. Now I know many people in the comment section right now will be saying what but I am heavily biased towards rides and roller coasters than slides and therefore Aqua Loop is perfect here in my opinion. Nevertheless if you can build up the courage to ride take a trip on here as it might be your favourite ride at the park. About the slide itself though, what can I say apart from you have got to be a thrill seeker to ride. Once you have made it to the top of the structure, which by this point your legs will be shaking, you will head into a pod that the floor will then release and literally drop you free falling down. It does not stop there though as you will then do a loop before finishing off the ride shaking like you have never shaked before. Without a shadow of a doubt this is the most scary water slide that I have ever ridden. But I would brave it again and again but would you? Comment down below. From one extreme to the next our number 2 spot is going to Sky Coaster and despite this not actually being a coaster prepare yourself as it is sure intense. Being a sky swing bungee jump star ride, you and up to three others will get raised 50 meters before you get to pull your own cord, releasing you to swing over the giant wave pool at 60 km an hour. All of this fun though does come at a price, as unlike the other rides on the list, this one has got an upcharge. However, I would feel wrong not putting it at number two. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at the park we have no other than Surf Rider. This ride is honestly fantastic and in my opinion it has got everything that people want from thrills to theming to just a fun ride after normally a very long queue which we would recommend avoiding by riding either at the start or the end of the day. You get to board your very own giant surfboard which will then roll back and forth to extreme heights as well as angles. That is not it though as on the surfboard there are also two seating spots and both of these will spin at 360 degrees while everything else is going on. If you are in a bigger group we recommend sitting on separate seats as it is a really fun experience to see each other spinning around and definitely not screaming on this terrifyingly fun ride. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love and at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button but with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.